What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have another seven star Samurai raid guide for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And if you saw my one earlier today, that one covered online methods where you would need some friends or a community or a Discord to coordinate. You know, it's pretty good methods, two turn method, and even a one turn method. And I'll say the two turn method is very easy to do. However, I know some people don't have Nintendo Switch online, some people don't want to even deal with it and they want to farm it themselves well i got three different solo builds for you for you to defeat the bug terra samurai but of course guys you're new to the channel and you enjoy my type of content please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it and consider joining the pan fam today by becoming a youtube member and i really appreciate that as well now i got three builds for you and these builds are all going to be great and build number one is going to be Mr. Koridon. Koridon was featured in the previous video because he is just straight up the best Pokemon for his raid in general. He can do everything. And he has a phenomenal move set. Now, the Koridon build is going to be max HP, max attack, adamant nature of Oricalcum Pulse. You want to have Fire's hair. It's very important to have Terra Fire for the solo run because you need to do a lot of damage and break through. And we also want to have the item Wide Lens because we're going to be lowering the fence with the move Screech. Wide Lens is a 10% boost in accuracy. So it's put 85 to 95% accurate for Screech. And if you don't have Wide Lens, it's going to be 85, which you can still hit all three, but it's about consistency. You lose a little bit of damage, but consistency matters more to me personally. So the moves we have is very simple. Swords Dance to boost our attack. Flare Blitz to do a crap ton of damage. Yes, it will take ourselves out, but that's because it's going to do a lot of damage and it's worth it and we're not going to faint too much. And the big point is, as long as the timer doesn't go out, who cares if we knock ourselves out? We're going to be hitting bombs out here with the Flare Blitz. And Screech to lower that defense to make Flare Blitz hit really hard. Now, your last move doesn't really matter too much. You could have Drain Punch if you want to get a little bit of HP. Personally, I just live with these three moves and I'm just good to go with them. So that's going to be our co ride on solo. Now, we also have a couple of other Pokemon that can do it too. We also have Firebreed Paladian Tauros, which is very similar to co ride on here. Firebreed Paladian Tauros, we're going to go Terra Fire, which is much easier to get personally. And we're going to have the item Shell Bell because we want sustain. We're actually not going to knock ourselves out with this Pokemon. But, you know, it's going to give us a lot more sustain. Essentially, whenever we do damage, we're going to get HP back. Now, we're going to have a, uh, max HP, max attack, adamant nature. Once again, same like Koridon. And the ability Anger Point. Because Samra is a crit machine. Essentially, it's going to crit you the entire time. Whenever we get hit by a crit, our attack stats when we go from 0 to plus 6. So, max attack, which is going to be massive. So, we're going to be doing this raid with a plus 6 Raging Bull Tauros out here. And our moveset's pretty interesting. Raging Bull is going to be a fire type attack because it depends on our breed. So that's going to be stab super effective. And we're going to be at plus six. So that's going to be massive for us. Tail Whip is our only move to lower the defenses of the Samurai. Now we're going to go for Tail Whip about twice and maybe three times, but usually twice in the beginning. Then we're going to get knocked out. And then we're going to start doing massive damage. Flare Blitz is here. Just as a, you know, if we want to do massive damage and burst it out, we feel like we want to get that extra 30 damage. We can go with Flare Blitz, but I personally haven't really used that. I've just been using a Raging Bull, so this move is sort of free for you. And then Sunny Day, we're going to proc once to further boost the damage of Raging Bull or for Flare Blitz. Very simple build, very easy to do. Now, our last Pokemon that we're going to do for a solo is going to be Annihilate. And Annihilate, I actually do recommend having the Ghost Terra on with Shell Bell. Now, once again, max HP, max attack. The ability to find it's nice. It does proc once because Samurai will lower your speed once. will give you a plus two attack boost. But it actually does not end up mattering because Annihilate doesn't really care. Annihilate, our goal is we're going to hit two or three Screeches in the beginning. And then once we hit those Screeches, we're going to die. We're going to come back and we're going to get Rage Fist stacks. Now, I do recommend getting Rage Fist hit with a PP max or three PP ups so you can get 16 of these because that's going to be very important. So once this thing's at minus four or minus six, we're going to be get hit a couple of times. Whenever we get hit, this attack does 50 more damage. So if we get hit twice, this is going to do 150. And the thing is, 
when we faint and we come back, we keep the stacks no matter what. And this caps at 300. So we're gonna get hit to the point where we do max damage and he's gonna be minus four or minus six, depending on how many screeches we hit. And then we're just gonna spam Rage Fist. Doesn't matter, don't need to use Bulk Up. I just have Drain Punch, you don't need to use Drain Punch. We're really just gonna hit Screech a couple of times and then Rage Fist. Should be easy. I will note that if you do Ghost Terra, you will probably faint, but you do massive amount of damage because it does have Night Slash. But if it crits you with Night Slash, you're dead. If it doesn't crit you with Night Slash, uh, you'll definitely survive for sure. So keep that in mind. Now let's show off these three solo attempts. All right, so our first raid is going to be with Mr. Koridon, who I do think is a little bit better, especially in the online setting uh, with multiple people, because we did record in our previous video the turn one and turn two KO, but he's still a threat in the solo, and I really do like him a lot here. He's just absolutely a beast in this raid. So because we have wide lens, our goal here is to set up screeches and hopefully not miss the screeches. We're gonna be 95% accurate because we're gonna be, you know, this is how the math works. And hopefully we can hit two screeches in the beginning here. So that's minus two, that's phenomenal, that's great. And the AI always gives a defense here in turn one. Now we're gonna hit by a Megahorn. It's gonna probably do 100 damage if it crits us. That's 100 damage because it crit us. Sometimes it can miss, sometimes it doesn't crit, but you know, because we're a fighting type, it doesn't really matter at all. Oh, so the that uh that we've all actually used a leer and actually made it a minus from now it's minus three, and now it's minus five of a Samrot, which is actually really interesting stuff. That's actually really cool. Uh, I'm still gonna go for one more Screech just so we can try to get a minus six. Sometimes you can get it off before the shields go up. It just really depends on the, your raid luck in general. And sometimes depending on Pokemon fainting and things like that, it's a, it's a whole thing. There's no consistent factor. Sometimes it does it early, sometimes it does it late on a, a, by one turn. So everyone's speed fell, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're still looking great though, HP wise. And he got his shields up. He's minus five, though, because the Weavile did get a Leer off, which, hey, I'll take that as a big win for us personally. So he nullified the stat changes and abilities. This only lasts for one turn. So for this turn, we're actually going to go for a Swords Dance, which is actually pretty important to do this. So now our ability is going to be able to come back on the next turn here. So we're good to go. However, we can actually go for one more Swords Dance which I'm always going to recommend that we go for one more sword stance because we want to make sure because no matter what we do here, we're going to take ourselves out because this Pokemon has a lot of HP and Flare Blitz is based on percent HP damage. We're plus four. He's minus five. We're looking beautiful. I mean, even though we're plus four, he was minus four. This should most likely take him out. And we still have the general bulk to take all these Mega Horns. It doesn't really matter. It's a double crit Mega Horn. Who cares? As now we're going to finally do our first attack with Flare Blitz. And this is gonna give us one attack charge towards our, our Terra Orb, which is gonna be great. And we just shredded right through that shield. Yes, it takes us out, but his shield is gone. And the hardest part of the raid is now over and he's still minus five. He still hasn't changed that part on himself either. Plus the Weavile could actually bless us up and maybe uh, help us out and maybe uh, put him at minus six for us. So I'm actually gonna just focus on trying to do as much damage as possible now. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. And then I'm going to go for an Attack Cheer. He actually got frozen, which is hilarious from Ice Punch. And then I'm going to go for Flare Blitz. That's so funny. He got frozen. I mean, sometimes the raid RNG happens like that. So he lower, he removed our abilities, which is not great. I'm actually gonna go for Swords Dance to burn that once again because we want that extra damage. I do believe the sun is not out anymore, unfortunately, but that's a-okay. We can take this hit. We're gonna be good to go. And we're gonna go for a Flare Blitz. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Even though the sun isn't out and we're not getting the plus one boost anymore from the sun, it's still gonna do a crap ton. And that's gonna take us out. And we got a burn. Flare Blitz does have a pretty decent chance of actually burning. Take us out, but that's fine. We're gonna come back out, be able to set up the sun, and the sun essentially gives us a plus one boost because of our ability, and the Flare Blitz boost is gonna be doubled as well. This is a fairly long solo in general, but 
it works pretty well. I mean, you have all the tools. You buff yourself, debuff them, and do a massive super effective hitting. So now he's finally removed all the debuffs, so he's no longer minus five. But at this point, we can almost get ready to hit that Terra, which is pretty great. All right, Koryan comes back. We finally get the sun back. If we had the sun back while we're doing the flare blitzes, it would have done a lot of damage. All right, so sun's back. I'm going to hit a screech here. We're going to lower him a little bit. Looking good on that. And I'm actually probably just going to go for the flare blitz next. It may not kill, but it's going to be really close. This will this will be a roll. Close, close. So I guess to save time to further optimize that on that last bit, probably should have gone for a Swords Dance or one more Screech. Swords Dance would have been safer, and then go for the Flare Bliss, and that would have taken them out. But, I mean, that's a solo with Koridon coming in here. I mean, not the cleanest solo, I don't think he has the best solo of the three Pokemon here, but it works. And if you just want to get this raid done, Koridon's going to work. And like I said, this Pokemon really shows off its stars, like most definitely when you are doing this raid online. And now we have the Terra. I'm just not even going to go through the animation. And Samurott's down, and there we go. And let's move on to our next solo attempt. All right, so we are here with... All right, we are here soloing with the Fire Breed Paladin Tauros, which is a very cool solo. So what we're going to do here with this guy is we have the move Tail Whip, and we're going to use Tail Whip twice in the beginning. And we're actually going to go on purpose knock ourselves out. There's no way to really set up here in the beginning. We're just going to knock ourselves out. It's A-OK. -okay. That's totally fine with us. We don't really matter. And you know what? Honestly, Anger Point procs right there immediately, which is always cool. We're going to be getting a lot of Anger Point procs, which is what I like about this build a lot. So now we got Tail Whip again. And there we go. Samurott's at minus two, and we have done our job here. So now we're going to probably get taken out by Aqua Cutter. That's A-OK. -okay. We we'll accept it. That's fine. Another crit, as expected. I mean, this, this Ray is always going to crit us like crazy. So now that he is minus two, he's going to set up his shields now because we fainted and, you know, he pretty much sets his up shields by turn three or turn four. Uh, so, and he nullified abilities. That's fine. We're not even on the field. It doesn't even affect us in any way, shape, or form. So now that we have done that, he is at minus two. We're going to set up the sun because we want to boost our damage and reduce the damage of water attacks coming in at us, which is going to be very important. All right. And of course he crit us, which means we're going to get our an anger point proc coming off. Oh, he actually nullified. I guess he did. Nul oh, no. Anger point did. I was about to say, dude, how did he not proc our anger point? We were dead when he uh, disabled abilities for a turn. Okay. So we're good to go. We're max. Uh, we are max attack now. Now we're going to put up the sun and we're going to be able to take those water attacks pretty well. He seems to keep going for... Drill run, which it's also super effective, makes sense. We're going to hope he goes back to the water moves. This makes our lives a little bit easier if he does that. All right, so now that we're plus six, he is minus two, and the sun is out. We can start hitting Raging Bull, which is going to be a fire move because we are the fire uh, type Poros. And because we have the Shell Bell, we're going to get a decent amount of HP back, which is going to give us some general sustain for this raid. And that's a big chunk. And I'm not going to lie, I will be honest, I really do like Tauros a lot more for this raid than Koridon Soul. I'm going to be honest. And we're just going to go for another Raging Bull. We're, we, can eat these, we can eat these crits or no crits. His shield is actually now broken, which is phenomenal. And we're going to go through, and that did another decent chunk as well. Did an, another big tasty bite. Oh, and I guess now his shield's actually broken. So we... Okay, so now we're good. So we just need one more Raging Bull. And the sun is still up, which is very important. We're doing big damage. There we go. That's what the damage looks like when the shield is gone. And now it's over at this point. Now, this is an actual quick solo. And yeah, our ability is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really matter at all. I mean, we can just tear our Raging Bull. The sun is still up. 
I'm actually not sure if that removes our anger point plus six. But with the sun, uh, stab, uh, terra fire, raging bull, super effective. He's still minus two. Even if we're not plus six, this should probably take it out. Uh, because we are doing a lot here. Tauros has a massive attack stat too. It's pretty high. So I'm feeling pretty good here. And that was that was a big crit. Oh, no, I did proc our anger point. So he did remove our anger point. So he did actually help us out. Thank you, Samrot, for making this even faster because now we're plus six. And you're Rip Bozo, Don Bozo. Goodbye, the bug. Samurai has eaten it. And that is our second solo. I, I prefer this a lot more than the co ride on solo. You can see it was very formulaic. It's like two, it's like two tail whips, sunny die, sunny day, raging bull until you win. GG. And for our final solo showcase, we're going to be featuring Mr. Annihilate here. I guess Miss Annihilate because mine is a girl. And Annihilate here is going to go for this Streech strat as well. Uh, we're going to try to hit two or three in the very beginning here. All right. Focus energy. We don't care. And Ghost Fighting pretty decent typing for this raid too in general. So whenever we take damage and get hit, our Rage Fist is going to go up. So we really don't need to really focus on buffing our own attack. So that was one Rage Fist boost. And we don't care about dying. It doesn't matter at all. Rage Fist stays through death. So now we've been hit twice. Rage Fist is now at 150, which is great. So hopefully we can hit this second Screech. That's going to give us the Fiant boost. It doesn't actually matter because he's going to remove our buffs uh, soon. So we're just going to go for the Screech. It's better for us to get the minus four than to uh, do damage at this point. All right, so Rage Fist is now at 200. And we hit the Screech, which is very nice. So we're probably going to die here. He's going to put up the shields here. But if we get lucky... Uh, oh, can we hit... Can we get a third Screech? Before shields go up? Or we're going to die? He crit us. We didn't die. I mean, it's crit. So he's minus six. Our Rage Fist is like, what, 250 now? And he's going to start putting up the shields. So that was great. That was great. Because sometimes he can put up shields a little bit earlier. Of course, the minus six is going to always be better. It's a little bit RNG for every raid when it comes to that. All right. So he moved, removed our Defiant or removed our plus two. That's A-OK -okay with me. So now I'm just going to go for uh, Rage Fist. And he's going to take us out. That's fine. Rage Fist is now at 300. So... That's okay. He took us out. He's at minus six. We're in an excellent position to just hit Rage Fist until we win. It's a very simple and easy strat. And the cool thing about Annihilate is this strat actually works for anything where you're not taking super effective damage. All right. Rage Fist, number one. It's going to do a decent chunk here. And we got the Shell Bell to gain back any HP to give us sustain. Pretty solid chunk right there. And yeah, we got hit for a good amount. But, you know, we're going to recover... We're going to recover a good amount of that HP in a moment. And broke through the shield. And that HP, yum, 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 yum. Delete your soul. Absolutely great. Big damage. That's fine. As long as we have this general sustain, we're fine. If we just keep on going for the Rage Fist. We don't even want to go for a bulk up. It does not matter. He's going to crit us. Bam. Look at that. And now we just need... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Swords Dance. I mean, we could Terra here and just destroy him outright. And so let's just Terra Rage Fist. It doesn't really matter. I think the Terra will actually give us the KO considering how low his HP is. But Annihilate is a really fast, great strat as well. Uh, I think the only problem with this strat versus the Tauros one is the Annihilate can most definitely miss those Screeches. And, I mean, this would have been a bit slower if we didn't hit that last Screech as well. So I would say the Tauros strat is a bit more consistent than the Annihilate. But the Annihilate is a general Pokemon that works for nearly any of these 7-star raids as long as it does not get hit. And that was relatively quick. About to come in at the same time as the Tauros too. So both of these phenomenal. If you had to pick between at least one of these, I'm going to say, you know, probably go with the Annihilate because anyone in Scarlet and Violet can have it. I know Koridon and 
the Fire Tauros are both going to be Scarlet exclusive. So if you're a Violet player, then definitely go with Annihilate. That's good. If you are a Scarlet player, then definitely go with the Fire Tauros. Or you can do the Quo Rhydon as well. Of course, I mean, Quo Rhydon, like I said, check out the other video where we can beat the raid in one turn or two turns with online people. The two turn strat is super easy to do online with randoms, in my opinion. Well, there we have it, guys. That is the three solo builds and walkthroughs for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for Seven Star Samurott. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, consider joining the channel as a member today, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.